Two Ohio lawmakers have introduced a bill which would require firearm vendors to attach a special lock to every gun sold in their stores. The goal is to prevent suicides and to keep guns out of the hands of children. A trigger lock comes in a variety of forms, but they can make guns inoperable without a key. House Bill 661, introduced by Democratic representatives Paula Hicks Hudson and Jeffrey Crossman, would make it so they are attached to each gun sold by a federally licensed firearm vendor in Ohio. That's what this bill is designed to do. It is to make it safer for people who choose to have guns in their homes, but to have them you know, stored in such a manner that they're not you know, subject to someone who, who doesn't know anything about guns getting their hands on them and using them. The CDC says roughly 126 Ohioans between the ages of 10 and 24 die of suicide by firearm every year. And on the national level, roughly 3,100 kids in that age range kill themselves annually, with 80% of those deaths involving a gun belonging to a family member. What this does is someone maybe in a rash moment grabbing the gun and shooting when, you know, the time you would take to unlock it. But Chris Dorr, executive director of Ohio Gun Owners, says trigger locks thwart a gun owner's attempts to quickly use the firearm in life or death situations. Most gun owners like me throw them right in the trash if they're included with a new firearm because, um, you know, we, we own our firearms in order to have quick access to them in case we're ever forced to use them. Door also says requiring vendors to provide a trigger lock is a slippery slope as it requires governments to exercise control over private corporations. Hicks Hudson acknowledged some owners will just throw them away, but said any effort encouraging Ohioans to safely store firearms is worth considering. We've got to do something to prevent guns getting into the hands of those who should not have them. And, and we need to stop allowing the rhetoric of Second Amendment to interfere with the First Amendment, which is your you right to life and liberty. Guns, as you know, can be a polarizing topic, and there is a lot to unpack in this bill. NBC4 digital journalist Maeve Wash has put together a web story with all the details. You can read that on our website, NBC4i.com.